All right, y'all. Welcome back to Rooster Crow and TV, man. It's been a minute, but we back, man. Okay, Juneteenth. Juneteenth. All right, man. Some of us just got uh, our wishes. You know what I mean? We got a holiday that was passed uh, specifically for black folks, you know, Juneteenth. Um, yeah, man. I actually started hearing about this day in uh, in school. In grade school, I, I believe it was the day of Jubilee. This Juneteenth shit just been kind of around for like uh, not too long, man. But this day was like when I did it in school, it, it was called the day of Jubilee. That's what I remember it as. But anyway, we actually got this passed as a holiday. And you know, like most niggas, man, niggas can't behave, man. <laughs> when niggas get something passed, bro. Niggas can't behave, man. But this ain't no laughing matters because. A lot of a lot of bullshit actually went down on Juneteenth week, uh, weekend. A lot of people got shot. A lot of people got injured. A lot of people got hurt. You know, a lot. It was just a lot of stupid shit went down on Juneteenth weekend. You know, and this is one of them. Unfortunately, a young lady, you know, ends up losing her life. But she drew down on the police officer. Let's get into the story, man. Before we get into the story, though, keep in mind it costs zero dollars and zero cents to hit that subscribe button right now. And not even be fair and price match and do the same thing if you hit that like button right now. Capiche? Capiche. Let's go. All right, I'm going to read this story for y'all real quick, man. And then we got the video to follow up with it, you know? All right, here we go. A 19-year-old woman was shot Saturday after allegedly exchanging gunfire with a police officer. Near Jonathan Foray in Flint, Michigan, authorities say. The suspect, whose name was not released, died at the hospital following the shooting, and the officer was uninjured, Michigan State Police said in a statement. The afternoon conf confrontation between the woman and the Flint police officer occurred near Juneteenth's champion parade. Authorities said the suspect opened fire first. Wow. Cell phone video reviewed by the NBC News and verified by police as showing a portion of the shooting capture an officer pointing a handgun at a stop car and saying, let me see your hands, hands up. The officer opened fire and the vehicle rolled forward. The officer got on his knees and appeared to show emotion distress as another officer appeared to console him. Okay. It was unclear what transpired in the moments before the video was recorded. State police said the suspect had driven up to a traffic to a traffic point near the parade and opened fire on on an officer. Wow. So the driver of this vehicle allegedly just rolled up and opened fire on the officer during a Juneteenth parade. Not sure why. But that's what happened. And the officer has to defend himself. Nobody's going to get shot at and not shot back. Let's watch this video clip. See what happens. Real shit. He just shot the fuck out of somebody windshield. I can't even zoom in on this shit. I know, right? Well, he's right there, bro, but they can start shooting anywhere out that bitch. And I, he shot I straight through his shit. Oh, shit, bitch. Oh, shit, bitch. Hold on, wait. No, he did not. He did not they hit your car. Shut the fucking door. That hit my door. Okay. I swear to God, it hit my door. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Is they dead? I can't calm down, bro. They calm just down. Hit my calm door. down. Calm down. Did he just, just get hit my shot? Door? I think he dead. Did he just get shot back? Bro, what the fuck? I'm shaking. Bro, my car. Where the bullet hole at? I'm shaking. Is they dead in that money kind of up there? It's just rolling, bro. Check on y'all people, bro. Bro, yeah, we good. Bro, yeah. He just killed them. He just fucking killed them, bro. The police just had to kill him. Yes, he just fucking killed him. And it's Monte Carlo right here. My bad. 
He literally shot in his fucking windshield so many fucking times. He shot through his windshield five times, then went to the side and shot him again three times, and that bitch just rolling. That bitch just rolling, bro. Whoever got a gray Monte Carlo with tinted windows, this is two doors. The police just shot that bitch up. He shot that bitch up in a Monte Carlo, got the rolling through the red light, so I'm pretty sure the guy is dead. Whoever got a black two door Monte Carlo. Damn, that Damn, y'all. That was the video right there. <sighs> so many mistakes and just stupid mistakes on the people part that actually captured this video. You no, know? um, I believe sooner or later we would have got like a like an angle from the police either way. But knowing that you are directly in the line of fire. One person is trying to get a, a good shot. One person is concerned about them getting shot. You guys are directly in the line of fire. You put yourself there for what? For this two-minute video? You saw that bullet that went and took out the rear view? <laughs> that could have came to that driver's side. But, um, yeah, maybe that's just me. You know? So, you can hear in the background... People are saying like, if you if you really listen to the people in the background, they're saying like, you know, the the, the person in the Monte Carlo they open fire first, and, and the cop they have to, you know, return fire. You open fire first, you got hit. I mean, ain't ain't no remorse, bro. You know what I mean? You open fire on a law enforcement officer doing a parade with families and kids and things like that. You know what I mean. And we see video of this cop. Now, if he's acting, somebody get up with an Oscar. You know. But um, we also have to come to the realization that not every cop is trigger happy. Not every cop want to just take a life like that. Don't get me wrong. Some cops do. Some cops join the forces for that. Some people join the military to take lives. You know. But not all of them. Look at this dude's reaction. A 19-year-old. Maybe he didn't know the person was 19. Maybe all he saw was a baby face. You know what I mean? You forced this man to take you out because you shoot at him first. And now he got to live with taking you out. I mean, if he's acting. Like I said, get that boy an Oscar, man. But this shit is getting kind of like, I mean, we're all immune to seeing people get shot all the time. Because you see this shit every day. Is there like a, <laughs> is there like light ahead? I, I don't see the light in the tunnel yet. We're still in the tunnel. But I don't see no light ahead yet, bro. You know? Just a lot of dumb mistakes. Another person gone, or just another life lost, you know, based on what? Man, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, man. Like, if you're out there pulling guns on cops, if you're out there doing something you know you shouldn't be doing, and it caught up and it, and it catches up to you, eventually it will, man. It just does. You know, I mean, you can't expect the rest of the world to feel sorry. I'm glad to see those young ladies are good, though. But, damn, y'all were too close in the line of fire trying to get, you know, vid a video for views. That's really what it was, you know. One person is crying. The other person is, like, you know, not even giving a fuck. They're just trying to see, hey, where, like, we got hit with the car guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of dumb shit happened in this video. Especially on the part of the people who, who were trying to capture the shooting. You guys could have... You know, lost your lives too. But for that 19 year old man, I'm not sure what you were going through. Maybe you were going through something personal. For you to just up your tool on the police officer. 
Maybe you're going through something personal. Maybe a cop did something to somebody in your family. You know. I mean, if you if you die, if you strictly went for that cop, then like I said, maybe you're going through something, and and you just want to take it out on that cop. You know. But this is all sad, dude. I mean, a life loss is a life loss, even if you put yourself in that situation. You know what I mean? But y'all, what y'all think about this whole conversation, man? You know, a lot of bullshit took place on Juneteenth. Trust me, this is just one of them. A lot of them took place on Juneteenth. Which leads me to this question. Is this how we're going to celebrate every time we're giving something? By causing chaos and just being stupid? I mean, because honestly, Juneteenth ain't shit. Know what I mean? Juneteenth ain't shit. You see the Asians, they just got protection. We will be happy about fucking Juneteenth. Another day for us to what barbecue and shit. When this motherfucker's out here really, really protected, know what I mean? They shoot a they shoot a little six year old kid from inside their house and get ten thousand ten thousand dollar bond. This motherfucker's out here really protected, and we're happy about Juneteenth. I'm just saying, man. Sometimes we gotta look at the bigger picture, bro, and stop looking at the, you know what I mean, like the little rice grains they feed us, man. This is this this is just rice grains. Know what I mean, this is rice grains. You feel me? Off the table, we getting fed. This ain't nothing. Why we can't get the protection? But until everybody get on the same page, bro, they gonna give those. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whoever accept whatever, that's what's gonna get it. I mean, right now, whatever, whenever something is given towards the LB the LBGT community, that's considered as it's being given towards the black community. That's like where we are right now, man. But that's for another time, though. Let's talk about this shit in the comment section, man. Till next time.